Welcome back to Should You Marry, the series where we go through and marry every single bachelor and bachelorette in Stardew Valley, and at the end we give them a rating out of 5 to see should you really marry them. And today we're going after someone who I've actually romanced but never married. So give Shawnee do a call because we're going after your favorite salad munching, mushroom hunting, cottage core dream girl, Leah. 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 You know what I mean. I'm debating whether I should work or just read comics all day. Do whatever you want, because uh, you're not you're not gonna be here very soon. Lewis, I'm here for another divorce. We have 22 salads. Well, that's gonna make it a lot easier for Leah, because the one thing that Leah loves is salads. I think that's pretty close to Leah's type. Sometimes I can't believe that you met, wanted to marry a psycho. Oh my god, I forgot to uninstall the Yandere mod. Us divorcing Sebastian might mean he'll try to kill us. Now it's a new day of fearing for my life. Leah, do you want to come on out? Oh, there she is. I've been having fresh salads almost every day. Wow. Would you like this non-fresh salad that's been sitting in my back pocket? Do you have a kitchen in your house? No, I live in the 17th century. Yeah. What? Oh, I'm sorry. I forget she just goes out and picks her food off the ground. Ted Kaczynski would love Leah. Leah, I've got some mahogany seeds that I found on the floor that I think you'll just love for a nice morning snack oh it's a too hot oh hi not leah's ex come on in i just kind of let myself in anyway i'm just working on the sculpture here it's certainly um it's certainly something watch this yeah you smack that sculpture leah i'm revealing the essence of the wood once you get past the outer layers the true nature starts to show. I actually prefer the look of raw, unadulterated wood. May I have a kiss, creepy. Both of the last two, kind of creepy. Not something I would probably say to a person in real life. Um, what did I click? Wait, the game freaked out. I don't know what I clicked. Oh my God, okay, I clicked, the, I clicked the top one. I first visited this valley as a little girl while on vacation with my parents. I knew I had to come back someday. This place has great artistic potential. It's not easy to pay the bills as an artist. Why don't you have an art show in town? Why don't you sell your art on the internet? Leah, if you're really struggling, the internet has this amazing thing where you can make a lot of cash very quickly if you're good at it. It's called fairy porn. It might be a bit of a deviation from the statues, but there's a lot of money in it. You should probably just do an art show in town. I guess that could set the wheels in motion to making Pelican Town a true art destination. But what if no one likes my sculptures? I'd be crushed. It doesn't at all look like you just tried to draw a circle and then the pen slipped halfway through. I'll have to think about it. Leah, yeah, where are you heading to? Just stand and sit here? You're just like looking in Pam's window or something? It's so nice to live by the river. You have a lake by your house and you came all the way out here. I fall asleep to the soothing sound of the water every night. That's actually quite sweet. Have a salad. Kel, how many times do I have to tell you? I don't want to come back to the city. Stop calling me. I don't want to hear from you anymore. Who was that? Not Leah's ex. Oh, that must be weird for her to hear that name after that phone call, huh? I guess you heard me yelling on the phone. The whole valley could hear you, Leah. Inside voices, Leah. That was my ex, but it wasn't. See, the thing is, it's that was her ex, but wasn't not Leah's ex. So it wasn't me. If you see why the name comes in now, so it's not, it's just so she doesn't get confused. I guess I'd better tell you a little about it. All I've done is give her a few salads and she's like, all right, here comes the traumatic past. We had an apartment together back in the city. I did odd jobs during the day and spent all night working on the art project. We barely made enough to scrape by. He was always nagging me to go back to school and study business or medicine, something with a lot of money in it. Sometimes you gotta become an adult, Leah. I say here as I'm Twitch streaming. I guess the idea was to save up for a normal life, you know? A house in the suburbs, kids, PTA meetings, that sort of thing. I wasn't ready for that kind of life, so I came here to pur pursue my dream of being an artist. I really hope she keeps doing art after we marry her. It's always kind of awkward when the villagers are like, oh, I have this big dream, and then you marry them, and they're like, oh, I don't need to do that anymore. I can be a stay-at-home mom slash dad. It's like, oh, okay. Was that selfish of me, not Leah's ex? 
I mean, maybe it was a little bit, but no, it had to be done. I just wouldn't have been happy back there. It was better for both of us to end an unsustainable relationship while we were still young and flexible. I'm working on some new sculptures to display at the show. I'm nervous, but the thought of getting my work out there is pretty exciting. I'm just glad you're on board with making Stardew Valley a prim art premier art destination. Well, I didn't say I'm going to do any of the work. Like, I better not be in any, like, committee meeting or anything. I just said you should do it. Leah, where are you? <gasps> Haley, it's our ex. I'll be fine on my own. Are you talking about, like, going out there or our past relationship? Oh, Seb's there. Hey, Seb. How's it? How's it going? You're going to regret this, Leah's ex. Okay, um... I'll see you later. Hmm? Oh, yeah, sorry. Mouthful of black berries. She's so cute. She's not here. It means we can snoop through her things. Living off the land, a practical guide. Okay, she's really into just eating things off the ground. I love the way everything looks when it's covered with fresh snow. She's like romantic, but without the pretentiousness that Elliot has. She's got the winter decorations in her cute little cottage. It's so adorable. Adorable. It gets pretty cold in my little cabin. I just snuggle up under a huge blanket and I'm okay. Maybe you got room for one more. But I didn't realize just how adorable she is. How come she's not spoken about more? I always see talk people talking about Penny being adorable and sweet. Why does no one talk about Leah? Oh uh, yeah, just gonna go, uh, uh, just gonna go fight some monsters in a cave, you know? Is she looking? Well, hey, what are you doing all alone out here on a cold, Wednesday evening. You know, you look like you could use a, a salad, Missy. Is exactly what I wanted. How did I know? Hey, Leah, happy birthday. Have a salad. You remember my birthday? She never gets bored of a, of a birthday salad. If you're ever dating a cottagecore girl, just make sure to get her a salad for a birthday. Whoa, we're on eight hearts already? She would have shot up from five hearts. Oh, I brought you a gift. It's a sculpture I've been working on. Oh, of course. Oh, okay. Oh, it's a, it's the broken circle. Oh, thanks. It's called How I Feel About Not Leah's Ex. I hope you like it. Oh, that's so adorable. What do we do with this? I guess we could kind of hide it behind the furniture. Gus, uh, I know you're not here, but I've got a little bit of a donation to give to you. We'll put it right here. What the hell? How did you get my sculpture back? Uh, did you find this in the star drop? I swear, I don't know how it got there. I didn't put it in there. Um, Sebastian stole it from me. It was Gus. It was Gus. I finally got my act together. I'm doing my art show tonight in Town Square. Wait, we missed a heart event. Come into town between three and five. Wait, no, hang on. We missed a heart event. Go back. I'll, I'll be there, but... Get out. I don't... What are you doing here? Let's hope it hits like 11.10. And she'll be walking through. It's working. I got it. I got it. <gasps> okay. Crisis averted. Oh, not Leah's ex. You scared me. She got a little bit Haley there for a second. See that fruit up there? It looks delicious, doesn't it? Yeah, you're a delicious fruit. <laughs> Am I right? But I can't reach it. She's like 5'2". Whoa. Did you ask her that you could lift her up? I don't know if we're on that level yet. Hehe. <laughs> Thanks. Okay. Got it. Here, try a piece. It was just an apple, seriously? Even if my art career is a flop, I always have a friend to catch me on the way down. Oh, God, she can't keep getting away with this. She's too cute. Straight into the art show. You're here. Okay, I guess I'd better introduce my pieces. Wish me luck. You know, that statue kind of looks like Haley. As some of you know, I came to this town because I wanted to draw inspiration from the beautiful surroundings. This place really feels like home now. Okay, I'm gonna introduce my sculptures now. I haven't named this one yet. She started out as an exercise in human anatomy, but I ended up seeing her through to completion. Maybe you should call it something like Hallie, ha Harry, Hale? Her expression is intentionally unclear. Is she embarrassed, amused, pained? Maybe like annoyed that you're talking to her? This one's called post-dimensional null space. It represents the boundaries of human Im imagination. The shape and color came to me vividly when I was in a trance state. She was on acid. Been calling this one eggheads. I wanted to create an animatronic humanoid statue to toy with the viewer's ability to properly contribute personhood to a physical entity. Wow, those were a lot of big words. And the last one is called wooden sculpture three. It's a celebration of my favorite sculpting material, wood. Those are my sculptures. 
She's blushing. Look, she's blushing. She's embarrassed. She's so cute. Ah. Oh, one last thing. I'd like to say thanks to my special friend. Special friend? He gave me the idea for the show and the courage to go through with it. I know that sounds cheesy, but it's true. I'm proud of you, Leah. Events like this really breathe life into our little town. Yeah, because you won't. She's so happy. Thanks, everyone. Oh, she's so happy. I love her. Now let's start the bidding on these wonderful art pieces. Do I have 5,000 Gs for the pink one? Five grand. She's just standing in the corner looking at a wall. There's nothing on that side. Is she okay? Wherever she ends up, that's where we're going to propose to her. I'll accept. Thank you. Yay, she accepted. Let's go. I was just thinking about you and your farm. I was imagining how good it must feel to harvest a big bunch of crops. She's a farmer gal too. She's actually going to help out on the farm. Seb. Wouldn't it be nice to have help though? <gasps> this is what I'm talking about. She's the cottage core dream. Foraging is a speciality of mine. Someday I'll make you a fresh salad. Why now? <gasps> oh, what? What? What has she made for us? I knew you'd be passing through here today. Is it because I just saw you? So I put together a surprise. It's a little picnic for us. It's the salad she was talking about. Oh my God, she's too adorable. This is a vegetable medley with my special spice blend. Did she spit on it? What do you mean special? This is a fresh salad made from greens that I foraged right here in the forest. She's perfect. I just want to say thank you for helping me get one step closer to becoming a real artist. Focused. Distant voice. Well, well, well. What have we here? Oh my god. He can walk through wood. Cal? What the heck are you doing here? Didn't you see me at the art show? I came all the way from Zuzu City to see your sculptures. And he looks weirdly like me. I want things to go back to the way they were. I'll miss you, babe. I'm giving him a real Australian accent. I picture him as an Australian. Yuck, don't call me that. You never supported my art before. Now that I've had some success, you want me to come back? You make me sick. <gasps> she stormed away. Hey, come here. Try reasoning with Cal. Oh my god. Jabor! <laughs> He'll make it, but that was pretty violent, not Leah's ex. Yeah, but he deserved it. Harvey can fix him up. He deserved that. Let's get out of here. I don't think Cal will be bothering us anymore. She's like, let's just leave the body in the forest. Screw it. We're not waiting. We're proposing to her on the same day. Thanks again for coming to my art show. It was such a success. I sold nearly all of my sculptures. You see, now we're getting in there when she has money. Always dreamed of living on a farm. See, that really fits her character. I'm gonna be so happy. She deserves all the happiness in the world. Oh, thank God Sebastian's not there. This is our third time, okay? Let's just get through this. Wow, her room's actually like nice. And there's no frog in it. Now that winter's over, we've got lots of productive weather to look forward to. She's too good. And look, there's a sculpture. Oh, that's quite a cute sculpture. That's much better than the circle. Another plus to Leah. It's just how easy it is to marry her. If you have money, you can just buy salads from the star drop where she already hangs out. I've planted these in a little pot out back. I grew that with great love and attention. She grew me a horseradish. I mean, that's, I can just kind of find them on the ground, but that's so adorable. Life's too short to eat bad food. Luckily, we live in one of the best regions for fresh greens and vegetables. And she gives me a salad two days in a row and Sebastian wouldn't even make me a sandwich. I want you to meet me in Cindersap's forest tomorrow at noon. I'm gonna teach you how to paint. If it's at noon, I you only have two hours before I pass out. So like, you gotta be quick with it. It'll be nice to explore your creative side with it. She's a good spouse. She's bringing more out of me. What do you think of the new flooring I chose? Oh, yeah, it's, it's um, you did good, sweetie. I don't have the heart to tell her. Oh, no, wait. I thought noon was at nighttime. How much longer will this be? Shut up, Marnie. Just stand there. My knees are quivering. My thighs are whimpering. And I've lost all sensation in my foot. That's how she gets when she sees Lewis. Just keep perfectly still, Marnie. No squirming. 
what style do you think I should do? I'm up for anything. A uh, colorful retro pop art. How's yours coming along? I'm trying my best. Hey, that's all I ask. If you <laughs> oh God, she's so sweet. I can't. If you keep trying your best, you can you can't help but get better at it. Make me look good. Shut the fuck up, Marnie. See, Leia hates Marnie too. Whoa, that's so sick. What is mine gonna look like? I don't know, that looks pretty accurate to me. Why don't you go ahead and keep yours? It might be nice to uh, own your first ever painting, you know? I don't like you, Marnie. Leah, that was an amazing day. Oh, she's she's working on a sculpture. Wait, she doesn't even give up on her hopes and dreams. She continues to work as an artist. She, she actually isn't boring post-marriage. There's one thing I wanna try before we end it. If we go to winter 28th, right? Hey, here's to another great year at Haley Farm. Oh yeah, I really gotta change that name, huh? Let's have some fun tonight. It's the new year and she got me a bottle of wine. Hi Leah, happy new year. That was some way to ring in the new year last night. She really is a five out of five. Oh my god, where to even start with Leah? She's so cute. I mean, I was actually blushing through parts of recording this. It's a video game. I was blushing to pixels on a screen. Her storyline with Cal and the X was actually interesting. There's conflict, there's an interesting past. She's escaping a past and a life that she didn't want, so she moved to Stardew Valley to seek out something new. That's just like the farmer. There's a relation there. We can relate to each other. On top of that, she's just so sweet. We, we pick fruits together, and she gives me a piece, took us out on a picnic. She gives you a piece of art that's her feelings about you. She gets the villager to explore a new side of themselves by teaching them how to paint. Even the one-off comments throughout when you're just talking to her during the day, just, they're just so heart fluttering. After marriage, she continues on with her dreams and career and passions and she actually makes art. Unlike other villagers, she doesn't become boring. Is she the most underrated bachelor in Stardew Valley? I think that really just depends what side of the Stardew community you're on. I mean, I think Abigail is the most popular bachelorette, goth girls, and I think Seb is the most popular bachelor, but I also see a lot of people like Emily seems to be really popular, or I've seen a lot of Sam love recently. Is she the most underrated? Who knows, but for me, she was. And at the end of this, she's completely shot up the ranking. So with all of this combined, I have to give Leah a five out of five. This might be my cottage core bias coming through, but I think Leah is the perfect wife for the farmer. I can't believe Shawnee Doo's tier list was right.